Welcome back to SA Live. Well, there are several upcoming events that the whole family, no matter how young or old they are, with that cute little face, can enjoy out there at the Briscoe Western Art Museum. Yes, here to tell us about their latest exhibit is Melanie Schwebke, Head of Education at the Briscoe Western Art Museum. And if you want to know what this one looked like at three years old, almost four, yeah, just like this one. Copy, yes. paste, yeah, exactly. It's really weird. Welcome, Melanie. Hi, okay, thank so you. Little ones doing a little bit of artwork, and yes. what's, what's the theme? Absolutely. It is Art in the Wild, Right in the Wild, and it is to celebrate the closing weekend of our our wildlife photography exhibit, Thomas mm -hmm. Mangelson, A Life in the Wild. And so uh, guests will have a chance on Sunday afternoon to come into the McNutt Sculpture Garden and explore the sculptures that we have, uh, both animal and nature themed and based. And then they will have a chance to be inspired and then they can start to either do a watercoloring, sketching, or do a little sculpting with clay as they see fit. So really just being inspired by nature. It is uh, family friendly, it is for kids of all ages, both adult and children. Please come on down and that's right, just get in touch with your, with your artistic side, your sculptor side. <laughs> and just Look, create I, a way. I, I, I know, it's mesmerizing. I yes. I feel it's so busy. Yes. Just keep talking. Melanie. All right, right. absolutely. I'm to <laughs> it's a two-part program, so this is the first part. The second okay. part, will visitors will have a chance to go into the wildlife exhibit, the a Life in the Wild exhibit, and there we'll have our uh, current poet laureate, Andrea Vocab Sanderson. So in collaboration with Dream Week and the themes of identity and representation, she will lead uh, guests and participants through a little poetry workshop. She's also created her own poem inspired by the exhibit, so she'll share that for the mm -hmm. first time ever on Sunday. And then uh, everyone will explore the wonderful photographs in the exhibit and then they'll come back and have a chance to write their own poem as well. So just really getting in, in touch with all your artistic sides and having a chance to just kind of explore and and let's talk Great. about the image yes. on the cover of this book. Yes, yes. and we're seeing it right there too Wonderful. because yes. that's what's kind of happening on Friday, That's right? right. So Friday night we have um, author and photographer Todd Wilkinson coming in. He lives in Bozeman, Montana. Uh, said at one point it was negative 35 up there. Yeah. <laughs> and so he's coming down here and he's going to be talking about uh, doing a program called Meet Bear 399. So the cover of their book here, and this is one of the panoramic photographs in our exhibit. It, this is Bear 399, and she is the most famous grizzly bear in Yellowstone Park. So she is 27 years old now, and um, she's most famous maybe for having, uh, she went into hibernation one year, came out with three three cubs. Which is unusual for her. <laughs> it is, it absolutely is, yes. Tip of the hat. Yes, so. yes. So Mama she 339. Is, yeah, <laughs> followed, <laughs> followed by and photographed by lots of different artists uh, and photographers. And so um, Todd Wilkinson recently uh, published a book um, authored a book uh, featuring photographs by Thomas Mangelson of Bear 399 called Grizzlies of Pilgrim Creek. So and he'll be in town and able to talk to about his experiences kind of staking out and watching the bear and getting all these wonderful photographs. Oh, that sounds very cool. And yeah. upcoming events, the uh, San Antonio Sock Show and Rodeo uh, Student Western Art Competition yes. exhibition is going to yes. be there as well, Yes, right? it is up right now. It features 12, the 12 winning artworks by our students. They uh, submitted uh, artwork from all over Texas. Over a hundred different artworks got submitted. So these are the 12 winning pieces. They're wonderful. They're by high school students. I go in there and I'm just astounded by the work that they do. It's just wonderful. It's much better than what I can do. So come out and see it. It is up until the beginning of February. And free entry when? Yes. It's the first Sunday of every month uh, is what we call Locals Day and it's free for San Antonio and Bear County residents. So it's a great time to come explore the museum and see what we're all about. Again, it's that little gem right yes. down there on Market Street yes. and you pass it a million times yes. and there's plenty of parking all around there, there so there's is. no excuse. Not right? at all. I know no parking I know okay. parking can be scary downtown but there's a parking garage right across the street and all around us so uh, come on down and you can make a whole day of it. The sculpture garden is open to the public no matter what and free mm -hmm. as well Wonderful. all the time. Thank you so all very right. much Melanie. Yes thank, thank, you. thank you. For more information on the Briscoe Western Art Museum just head to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab where we provided a link. Oh stop it. Or just Great scan job. the QR code <laughs> on your screen. Look, from the mountains to the ocean, of course, this is what we did. <laughs> see, the shining sea. Celebrate San Antonio with us on YouTube. Yeah, all your favorite DIY videos, food, drinks, tips, and tricks. If you've seen it here, it's on the SA Live YouTube channel. Just search KSAT SA Live on YouTube and like, subscribe, and ring the bell.